I'm gonna go through two more examples solving a two by two system equation by hand. So here's our system. We have to write it in the form of AX equals B. So we set up A, two equations, two unknowns. It's gonna be two by two. This come equation one, second row, equation two. First column, first unknown, second column, second unknown. For my first equation, the number in front of x is a 1, the number in front of y is a negative 1. For my second equation, the number in front of x is a 1, the number in front of y is a negative 3. My x vector is just my unknowns, so literally just copy these numbers down, x, y. My b is my values on my right hand side, negative 6, negative 14. Note equation 1, equation 2. My solution is always x equals a inverse times b. So I need to find A inverse, I have B, it's a basic multiplication. A inverse, one over the determinant of A times A adjugate, or adjoint. Determinant of A, I draw my little fish, one times negative three minus one times negative one. These two numbers multiplied, these two numbers multiplied, subtract. When I do that, I end up with Minus 3 plus 1, or negative 2. A adjoint. Also going to be a 2 by 2. The 1 and the negative 3 switch places along my make diagonal. The other two numbers change the sign, so I get positive 1 and negative 1. To find A inverse, I put it together. 1 over negative 2 times negative three, negative one, one, one. Or three halves, negative one half, uh, one half, one half. I can go to MATLAB, check my answers. Now I wanna solve X equals A inverse times B. I have A inverse, I have B. A inverse is just this. Uh, one half, negative one half, three, one, negative one, one. I like working with whole numbers, so I'm gonna multiply the one half in at the end. B is just my vector from above, negative six, negative 14. Matrix multiplication. Dot product between these two. Negative three times negative six, plus one times negative 14. Dot up product between these two. Negative one times negative six, plus one times negative 14. I'm going to end up with 18 minus 14, or four. And then six minus 14, or negative eight. If I multiply my one half in, I end up with negative two and four. So there we go, x equals negative two, four. Remember, though, that x is this vector here. It's this vector. It's equal to x, y. So because of this idea of equal matrices, that means that x in my equation is negative 2, y in my equation is 4. So if I go back up to my original system, and I plug in negative 2 for x uh, and 4 for y, I can confirm and verify that my solution is go away, that my solution is correct. So x equals negative two, y equals four. Okay, let's look at another one. So here we have another system of equations. Write it in the form of AX equals B. Two equations, two unknowns. X is or A is gonna be a two by two. Equation one, I have negative one, negative two. Equation two, I have one, three. X vector, X, Y. B, negative three, two. And you will get used to this as you go along. You will do this over and over and over and over and over again. So here's AX equals B. Solution, X equals A inverse B. A inverse, one over the determinant. Draw my fish. Negative one times three minus one times negative two. 
Add joint. Three and the negative one change places. Three, negative one. Negative two and the one change their sign. So negative two becomes a two, and one here becomes a negative one. When I do that math, I end up with one over negative one. Three, two, negative one, negative one. So here's one of those instances where my inverse is nice and simple. It's not complicated. Because my determinant is negative one. There we go. I have all my pieces. I have A inverse, I have B. Now it's just matrix multiplication. A inverse. B. Dot product, negative three times negative three plus negative two times two. One times negative three plus one times two. Multiply that through, nine minus four gives me five. Negative three plus two gives me one, or negative one. That's my x vector. My x vector is also equal to x, y. So that means x is five and y is negative one. There's my solution. I can plug them in up here to verify. Negative five minus two times negative one equals negative three. Negative five plus two, there we go. I can check and plug it into my other one as well. There you go, there's two more examples. Hopefully that clarifies some stuff. Um, there's the formulas and everything are also in the notes. Uh, key piece, one over the determinant. Multiply these two, multiply these two, subtract the two numbers. Add joint matrix. These two along the main diagonal switch places. These two change their sign. Once you know that, you just plug it in and you do your multiplication. B doesn't change. You just bring it directly down here, do your multiplication you end up with your answers. You can always verify with MATLAB. You can always verify by plugging in your final result um, to check to see if it's correct.